Hey everybody and welcome back to another Shein Curve haul. I just finished filming a uh, Evette Sports and a Loray uh, like activewear haul. So I think this video, the Shein video is going to be coming up first. So stay tuned for the Evette Sports and Loray coming up. It's a brand new brand, the Loray is. It's actually for men, but there's a couple really cute pieces I had to show you all. So anyways, today we are going Shein Curve holiday-esque edition i don't know i really have no idea i just i just kind of start trying clothes on and and you know show you all so if you're new here hello and welcome my name's Rhonda, and i am having some mass sinus issues today so if i'm a little off it's because like right here is really hurting me but i'm pretty sure it's because i overindulged in some cupcakes i got from walmart yesterday they were so freaking good like i haven't been craving sweets too often but dang one or two bites and I was like <laughs> so it's kind of like a, a carb hangover is what I'm dealing with today yeah good times anyways over here we don't let the number on the scale or the tag of riches define our happiness we're enjoying that cupcake okay so let's go ahead and start off when it comes to Shein Shein apparently no longer takes Rakuten and I'm like oh that's such a bummer I was enjoying that five percent cash back and I know y'all were too, but don't worry, Rakuten is still around for, you know, if you have now gone ham with Pioneer Woman over at Walmart, it's fine. I'm getting 6% cash back there. So typically Rakuten has 30, uh, $30 sign up bonus or $40 sign up bonus. So I'm going to leave it linked down below for y'all. Share your referral link because when you share and a friend signs up, makes a qualified purchase, you get 30 bucks they get 30 bucks or 40 whatever's going around so am i going to keep sharing my referral link with you all yes yes i am because i like to make money you like to make money and we're all friends here so why would i not tell you about it anyways with shein just whatever you know about your size and other stores throw that right out the window what's important with shein whether it's a straight size or the curved size of shein just know your measurements that's all I can tell you. So I'm pretty sure, actually I don't even know. Everything I think is in 1XLs today. I'm typically about a 14, I am a 16 in some other brands, but again, it doesn't matter. Just know your measurements. So this first item is in a 1XL, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need my Honey Love briefs for this, because I think this is a really cute, yes. A, no, this is a, there is a, I don't remember her name, but this girl that also models for fashion to figure and she models for Shein. And every time I see her modeling anything at Shein, I buy it because she is beautiful and she sells me on everything. This is a beautiful dress that I thought would be wonderful, not only for the holidays, but you know, Valentine's Day, New Year's, whatever. It's just an all around gorgeous dress. Look at the back. I love the quality of this dress, the fabric of this dress. It has a nice zipper in the back. And just for reference, I always try and let you all know or remind y'all, I do have sensory disorder, so, or sensory issues, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so I am very particular when it comes to my fabric. I am not gonna wear anything that is itchy. And if I do, you all always see me have like a hoot nanny vest over here freaking out. So this is polyester 95% and then spandex. So there is a little bit of a stretch as far as that goes. And I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. And to go with it, I did pick up a pair of shoes in a size 39 and they're dressy shoes. I think the reds are gonna be a little off, but I feel like it's okay because one's up my foot and one's not. So anyways, look how cute these shoes are. They have a nice Velcro around and then a bow. And it's a high heel, which, you know, I, I gotta like, you know, exercise my ankle so I don't like fall on my face and whatnot. But it's a really pretty like velvet shoe. You all, if you have not tried out Shein's shoes, boots, tennies, slippers, you're missing out. It's like the most affordable shoes 
that you can find. Like here I was like, DSW all the way. DSW, great, don't get me wrong. Great quality shoes, large variety of shoes, but Shein has given them a run for their money in my opinion. So anyways, I can't wait to try this out together. Oh my Lord, trying to walk in heels. Oh, okay, so this is in a 1XL and I, it runs big. That's all there is to it. Typically, I put a 1XL on and with a Shein and measurements and everything and it's fine. So I think this was one of those ones where I must have did what I tell you all not to do. And I'm like, oh, 1XL with Shein, that'll work. No, I should have went with a zero in this one um, because this particular dress does run a little big. I think it is so flipping cute though. I mean, I love the detail straps on the back it does have a zipper back and i love the length of the dress and everything it is so cute paired with these shoes i probably wouldn't wear it with the shoes i think these shoes in black would just be icing on the cake but this dress is really pretty i just oof, really really cute it's so if it was just you know one size down that would be perfect i love that like you know fake hourglass and i do have my queen briefs on with this as well just to give the smoother effect but uh, i like the the red color too it's like a blue red undertone i did pick up a couple more red pieces because I, like i said i was in like the holiday spirit so this is in a size 2xl and always make sure to read the reviews i they did give us a coupon code hot mess 15 it's not an affiliate code i would love for them to make that an affiliate code because <laughs> as much as i purchase from shein i would love to make my own code an affiliate code because i use it all the time but i last year i think it was found this adorable jumpsuit from ashley stewart and it is gorgeous so i found this well, i'm trying to figure out which way to wear it i don't i don't know i'm gonna have to probably pull up the picture because i'm already confused it does have a zipper in the back and then i think this like crisscrosses very similar to the one that i picked up from there and let me just tell you it looks great but the honey love queen briefs make it exceptional <laughs> I had to apologize on camera to anyone who saw me at the restaurant without my queen, queen briefs on. <sighs> yeah, I showed you all that before and after. Oh my God. I'm like, I wanted to smack my husband and be like, why did you not tell me that I needed my honey loves? But anyways, I digress. So this is a really cute jumper. It does feel like it has a good amount of stretch. I may have been able to get away with a 1X, but I feel like I would rather something be a little baggy than too small and look like a busted can of biscuits. You know what I'm saying? I love this. It reminds me so much of that Ashley Stewart jumper. So much more affordable. So what I did is I twisted, like I crisscrossed it. I left it button, crisped it, crossed it, put it over my head. Perfect. And see right here, it's got this little number. So you don't have to worry about showing anything with this, which I love. I love that extra added support. Now it is a little big and I have my queen briefs on and a pair of panties on so you can see, you can see that. But I do like the way it fits, but I think I needed a 1XL. And nice thing about this jumper too, y'all, it actually has like a line liner in it. So you have like a little extra protection because it is a thinner material. The length, I definitely would have to probably get it like hemmed, but that's something that I deal with with like everything I wear because I'm short. It does have a zipper in the back and right, I mean, you guys can see it. It is definitely too big back here. So in all honesty, my fear was being a jumper that it was not going to have enough length here, even though I'm like probably short torsoed. So go with your true size. This was a me screw up, not a Shein screw up. But overall, I think this would be really cute. You could always put like a really pretty like, like 
rhinestone brooch or something right here to really spice it up this is very cute and i feel like it is definitely more flattering than the one that i have again keep in mind you can see my panty line through here typically i wouldn't wear panties with my queen briefs but the queen briefs really pull you together they did give us a coupon code at honey love i'll have to like pop it up on the screen uh, for you all. I do believe it is still active, but this is just a really really cute Just go with your actual size and it will fit perfectly this next item This was one where I did read the reviews and it did tell me hey You the, okay, let me just show you the foofiness is not sewed on as well as it could be so my thought was okay i could throw in a couple extra stitches and make it you know definitely a little bit better or i could just cut the thing off what i really loved was this velvet sparkly skirt now the skirt is in a 1xl it has a nice elastic waistband and it is stretchy so that's why i didn't size up because i burned myself so many times on going a size up on things that have a good amount of stretch on there even if it's whatever, I'm just all over the place. So, and again, it was one of those pieces that I thought was great for the holiday or New Year's. You could dress it up with a nice, cute red. Look, it is a skirt and I'm wearing, I mean, you might be able to wear it as a tube top. Why not? Why not? You know, maybe. But anyways, I thought this would be really cute. And I think I did pick out a top to go with it. Let's see here. I did. This is in a 1XL and I went with like a burgundy because I feel like not everybody wants to wear like a cherry red color. So I thought this would be cute to put with it. It's kind of like a mock turtleneck, turtleneck style top and a 1XL and I figured you could tuck it in and it would be really cute. Now unfortunately you really can't wear the red shoes with it but I thought that this was just a nice cottony feeling. It's probably polyester but in my head it's cotton um polyester and cotton so there you go but i thought that that would be cute together okay <laughs> so stay with your girl um i'm lazy so i'm not going to put the shoes on these are actually listed on my poshmark right now they're by miranda lambert and how cute would these go with this outfit <sighs> okay so like that that is like a whole vibe and i just think that is schmexy as a sin. So let's talk about a couple things. One, Honey Love coming through with the queen briefs gives you that nice like snatched, you know, nice snatched look without, you know, feeling like a total busted can of biscuits and totally uncomfortable. The skirt, it's short. She cute, but she's short. It's in a 1XL. What I can tell you all, with this little foofy number down here, I like it. But if you, your legs too far, it's going to snipe. It gives you no extra room. Like this is nice and stretchy, nice and comfortable. Love it. But this, there's no extra anything on here. So if you take a far step, it's going to snap and pop and it's going to be a situation. However, I mean, I do think it is really cute. I do think it is a really cute little number really affordable and a lot of their stuff they're having like huge sales on right now like I, I, I was on there last night looking at stuff and they had things starting at two dollars yeah over at Shein so anyways as far as the skirt goes it's cute it could stand to be a smidge longer the top the top is in a 1xl and I will tell you all, it's cute, I like it. However, do not let this go into the dryer because you're never gonna wear it again. <laughs> it's gonna shrink. You can just tell it's totally gonna shrink. So I don't know if I necessarily like this top with this skirt. I think it would just be, it's definitely more of a casual top, but I mean, this could be a cute little spicy number, you know? Like, I don't know. All right, let's move on. And then the last item, that I got is in a 1XL and I did take a little peek in the bag and I'll be honest with y'all I was like ew this fabric looks a little on the cheapy side which I mean they've surprised us surprised us before and it looks cheapy and then all of a sudden you put it on you're like oh that's cute 
So it definitely looks like a polyester type of fabric, but kind of on like the cheapy side of the polyester. I don't know, 100% polyester. So what I wanted to do is I picked out a cute colorful belt to go with it, but it didn't come in, I guess. The Shein let me pick some of the clothes and they have you over pick and then they pick off of your picks of what they're gonna send you. So they ended up not picking it to send me, but I do believe I have, I know I've got belts somewhere. I like just cleaned my closet so I have to find where I put it because I was like, oh, look at me being so productive and cleaning. Listed a bunch of stuff on Poshmark and uh, definitely make sure to check out my Poshmark. But now I'm like, where did I put all those belts? I'll find it. All right, so I am back and I think that this dress came in black and I think it would actually look better in black. I did try and put a belt with it and I'm just not a fan of it. I think it's just the fabric. I did pair it with the heels and I love these heels. I think these heels are absolutely adorable. True to size, I picked up a 39 and I don't know you all can really, yeah, I, they're hard to see, but let me see if I can, okay, try it like this. So I just think these shoes are absolutely adorable. Like I need to practice walking in them, but they're so flippin' cute. I mean, ignore the fact the reds don't match or anything like that, but for the holiday, a holiday party, New Year's, Valentine's, these would be so adorable. I haven't been in heels for so long, so I'm like a baby draft. All right, the dress, the dress is a no. I'm not a fan of the material. This is one of those things where I think the cut, the style is cute, but the fabric kind of isn't it for me. It's like, you know, when people are like, Shein is like poor quality clothing. I wouldn't say it's poor quality, like the, you know, stitching and everything is good, but I just think that this particular material just really makes it look too, too cheap. I don't know, what do y'all think? Can you tell that from the camera? You may not be able to tell from on camera. I think it's gonna take cute pictures, but I think in person, I don't know. It's just, maybe it's the color thrown. I, I don't know, let's move on. All right, friends, so that is everything for today's Shein Curve haul. I will have everything linked and listed down below. This is actually the part two from like a week ago <laughs> that I promised you all. I just was not feeling filming and so I just need to take some time to myself. But uh, yeah, I think overall this particular haul was, it was, it's, it's like always a hit or miss and I just needed to be a bit more mindful of the measurements of some of these items and I think it would have like been perfect. So anyways, let me know your thoughts down below. I will be back with a Savage X Fenty haul, a Skims Black Friday. It came in about a week ago, so I really need to film that for you all as well. And I do have a Cup She haul coming with a bunch of really pretty dresses. So anyways, hopefully you decide to stick around. This sinus thing will go away and I hope you have a so wonderful holiday and until next time, this is from Kentucky. Mwah! Bye, friends.